Well, we're so excited to have you both with us today um, to discuss your journal article titled Different Differential Patient Travel Distance and Time to Psoriasis Clinical Trial Sites, which was published in the Archives of Dermatological Research in May of 2023. Um, so let's jump right in. So if you could just both introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about your background. Um, why don't we start with you, Joseph? Yeah, so my name's Joseph. Uh, I'm an MD-PhD candidate at UConn. I'm currently a uh, seventh year in the program um, in my uh, MS3 year. Well, then I apologize. It's Dr. Massasan, I believe. <laughs> You've already completed your PhD? Yes, I did. Yeah, I defended this past year. And then my name is Hao Feng, and I'm an associate professor here in the Department of Dermatology at the University of Connecticut. And it's uh, been a great pleasure working with uh, Joseph and Eric uh, on this on this study. And thank you so much for your interest. And uh, we're really excited to talk about it. Wonderful. It's great to have you both. Um, well, the next thing I want to just discuss is kind of a, a brief summary of the study. And if you could share your findings with us. Yeah, so what we found um, was the uh, we looked at the average distance and time um, nationally um, for people traveling to reach um, recruiting and active psoriasis clinical trial sites. Um, and we found that uh, the average distance was around 46 miles um, and the average time 52 minutes, um, respectively. Uh, for shorter travel burden, we saw that um, urgent or urban residences um, and Northeast location um, had significantly lower travel distances and time um, relative to their geographic counterparts. Um, and then on the other hand, uh, in terms of increased travel burden, um, we saw that there was a significantly greater burden um, among Native American and Black races, um, where travel times were 35 minutes roughly um, for Black patients um, and 69 uh, minutes roughly for Native American patients. Um, and then when we looked um, further into um, educational attainment, we saw that um, individuals without education um, and Veterans Affairs beneficiaries ended up traveling about 40% longer um, compared to privately insured patients. Um, so essentially these findings revealed kind of disparate access um, based on morality, um, race, education, and insurance type um, in terms of uh, travel um, to clinical trials for psoriasis. Yeah, 